Hey. hey guys, <laughs> welcome to Aftermath. Uh, this is the show where we try to put a bow, being kinder and gentler this I week, don't like the bow. On Pastor Scott's sermon of a few minutes ago. I'd rather you clean up my mess. <laughs> Fine, we're cleaning up Pastor Scott's mess. There you go. In Aftermath. Uh, I'm Bain, Don Bain, and of course I'm here with my good friend Colonel, Chris Wokel, and Notorious B.I.G., Notorious <laughs> Scott, <laughs> Scott Lessing. Today is Wednesday, January 26th. Is he, is he calling me fat? No. No. And B.I.G., uh, it's different. It okay. is very, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah very good. Uh, <laughs> week four out of six of uh, Habits for Growing a Relationship with God. And this week, uh, Pastor Jonathan talked about the person that matters to God, that person that matters to God a lot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Pastor Scott, there's so much here to unpack. We just went through it and there was way too much, right? Our suitcase is overflowing. And, and I'm not sure how we're all gonna get it in today, even our, just our few minutes together, but you know, at the end of the day, isn't this really all about loving others and loving others well? I mean, isn't that what this is about? Yes. Indeed. Great. Thanks Ditto. for coming, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Can you? That, but that's exactly, that's exactly true. Yeah. That's what this lesson was about. And, and the reason we talked about it is because we don't love each other well. And so we talked about some of those things. Yeah, and, you know, the love does, love does not, and love is, right? Like, we talked about those three things. Yeah. But I, I, I just, I love that chapter 12 passage that we did at the very end, right? Uh, it's the gifts of, of, that we all, that God gives people gifts. And, and that the, the verse that kind of throws everyone for a loop is, and now I will show you the most excellent way. Right, right after he sh talks about, these are the gifts for the body of Christ. Well, what's the most excellent way? He just leaves us hanging, right? Loving people well. Yeah, and okay. then chapter 13 is, is loving people well. Yeah. yeah, 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 it's really cool. I mean, I thought that, that's great, and I, I like that, um, although we hit a lot about, you know, um, Paul's love poem, they call it, but I was really happy today to see that we took it in a completely, in my mind, a completely different way, right, and really applied it to our lives as guys, mm -hmm. right, as opposed to, you know, wedding vows and so on. I think it was just, you know, pretty good. So, Chris, you know, I guess the question is, how do we do this? I mean, how is, as men... You know, we're, as men, do we love others well? Because it sounds really mushy to me. And, you know, we just talked about Paul's love poem. And that sounds like a lot of touchy-feely stuff. But, I mean, you know, we're guys. We're not that yeah, way. How do I, we do that? I th well, I, th I think first we've got to get over the idea that love is an emotion. You know, when Scripture talks to us about love, it's, it's more a verb. It's more an action. It's what, how, how do we present Christ's care and concern and love for others to other people? So it's... it's uh, bringing in your neighbor's trash can at the end of trash day when they've been at work all day. It's picking up their mail or their newspaper off the street. It's, it's saying hello to one another. It's taking, it, it's taking time out of your, uh, your scheduled events for the day to stop and have that uh, on the spot ad hoc conversation with the person at the grocery store or the clerk. It's, it's, it's making others feel important uh, and valued. I, I, that's showing Christ's love. I think it's great. I think it's where, you know, I'm often reminded as, as we're going through different, um, you know, scripture and uh, interpret, you know, interpretations, but of the way they break it down is that the English language fails us, yeah. you know, in so many ways. In this case, you know, when, with regard to love, I mean, yeah. you know, in, in Greek, there's you know, three or four yep. different words for love that have different, yep. you know, specific meanings. And in our society today, it seems that, you know, love kind of gets a bad rap now, right? Because it's, it's all wrapped into what Especially I talk about. Especially as guys. Yeah. Especially right? as guys. You know, yeah. what I talk about love, you know, you say to another guy, hey, I love you. I mean, it's like, oh my gosh, what are you talking or, about? It's or, really uncomfortable Or, or how, how about getting a guy to say, I love Jesus? Yeah. Right. Even that's tough for some men. Yeah. Right. Or, or worship songs that talk about loving the Lord. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. They're like, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm a guy. Well, you're, you're talking about the wrong kind of love. Like, right. That's, that's, yeah. yeah, that's kind of weird, right? That's yeah. what I mean. That's, that's, right. that's Eros, what English right? fails. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. But agape, chesed, like those, that's that, you know, love that is like, I, that you just care about that person right. so much that you would sacrifice anything for them. That's a set, right? Yeah. And agape is the greater than brotherly love. Like, yeah. it, it's more than that. It's deeper. Like, like I'll walk a million miles with you, 
and you know when we get to wherever we're going I hope that you smoke some meat so that we can have a good dinner <laughs> right? indeed I will and <laughs> but like like it's that kind of friendship yeah. that we're talking about and that's how we're supposed to love one another and outdo ourselves outdo each other right yeah. while we're trying to love it yeah right yeah which is as long as it's based in the in the right way it's not based right. on ego it's based on the Lord right that's right yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah and that's why this lesson is so important is because as guys generally speaking we have a tough time caring for those not in our immediate circle yeah but we are we're 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 called to care for that guy that just cut us off in, in the freeway. Yeah. We're called to care for the guy that knocked our mailbox off the mailbox post. Yeah. Again. Again, which happened to me this week. So uh, it's, it's that. And that's why this lesson is important for us. Guys, thank you very much. Fellas, thanks for joining us. Please go on the website, gracecma.org, or the men's, uh, Grace Men's Facebook page. There's all kinds of resources there. Uh, you can find um, videos of the sermons, of a sermon we just we just lived with Scott, of you know uh, the podcast. There's all kinds of great. Which stuff. is dropping this Friday. Oh, dropping this Friday, great. <clears throat> yep, with Fred Corey. Yeah, who's a friend of Scott's, who's a guy I know and really good dude. So go there and thanks for joining us, guys. See you guys.